Hey, hello everyone, it's me, Romy. So, uh, yeah, I actually did a video that, a four-part video for, you know, this uh, Love & Hip Hop Season 6, Episode 3, Love & Hip Hop New York. And so, I figured, you know what, that may not be for everyone. There may be someone who really just wants to watch it in all-in-one type of thing. So, how the episode was aired. So, here we go. We start off with Tara, you know, being annihilated, assassinated by the lethal ninja, Ninjet, the legend, Amina Butterfly. I mean, she was going in. I'm like, she was calling Tara the side piece, the side piece that was always the side piece, the side piece that was never the main piece, the side piece that never had him fully... There was other people before you, there was other people after you, there was other people during you, and you were still never the main, and you still have kids by him, and what are you talking about? You ain't ish, and I'm like, whoa, Amina, damn. I mean, damn, that's how you open it, damn. And then, you know, Tara acting a dumb fool, Looking like she was actually trying to get in Amina's face after Amina was like, yeah, and I'm pregnant. And I'm like, what is wrong with these women? What's wrong with Peter? Most what's, what's wrong with these women? Like, what is he? I'm not even going to go there. Anyway, so DJ Self, he's talking to his girlfriend. And he's talking about how, oh, he la ha, he la ha, he la ha. And she's just like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why don't you take me out? And so he's like, you know what? Mariah Lynch, she has this big birthday party and everyone's going to be there. And so I want you to be there too. And so she was like, he said, come on. And she was like, all right, all right, puppy. Okay. And so we move on to Mo meeting with Yandy, which felt really weird and scripted it's like okay yeah you're both on the show together and you just magically oh you saw yandy so you thought you'd reach out to her really this is a mona mona scott young production anyway so they talk and yandy's pretty much like you know what i don't know what the beef is between you and young b but do you both didn't handle yourselves well. And long story short, what you need to do is uh, fix it. Not fix it between them, but go and figure out what you want. Because, hey, I may want to manage you guys. BBOD. Bum bitches on deck. <laughs> so then... We go to Mariah Lynn, and she's in the studio with Self. And we're listening to this song, and it's... It is what it is. It absolutely is what it is. That's it. And so she's talking about how, how, how her and Rich were kind of something. Not really sure what, but they were kind of something. So Self was trying to figure out, okay, so what's really going on there? And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe there's, yeah, there's nothing there. Sorry. Uh, spoiler alert. Next, we have Cardi B comes into the scene and I'm just <sighs> refreshing. That is what I'm going to say. She is absolutely refreshing. And so she comes onto the scene and it's kind of like a who is this and she and Mariah Lynn's like, oh, I know you from Instagram. And he's like, ah, you know, her usual thing. And so Cardi B is... Uh, talking and long story short Mariah Lynn invites her to her birthday party now mind you self is freaking out because he invited his girl to the birthday party so we'll see how that turns out next we have uh, and also Cardi B's like wait so she's your friend and I'm your friend too but why aren't you working on my music and self is like Cardi B likes to think that she's an artist and that's okay woo but I do like Cardi B's song better than Mariah Lynn's, so there is that. So Yandy and Medici's have, you know, a grown talk because they have to figure out what's going on with themselves and the rest of their lives and if Medici's goes to jail or not. You know, some filler stuff because it's almost like more of the same. Then we have Mo talking with Lex 
because they have to figure out what the Ra Rashida situation is. And so they talk and they start to argue and, and Moe's like, you know what, forget it. We'll talk to her. That's it. That's it. And I'm trying to think to myself, why is Lex putting up with this? Because I understand when you're in the group, like I would be that type that's more so just like kumbaya, my lord. But at some point, you have to be like, you're not going to go and do, I don't play these type of games. I'm done type of thing. Clearly, I'm thinking Mo has the money. And so that's a huge part of the thing. She's funding everything. So anyway, then we have... Mandisi's he talks with the kids, the other kids, you know, the at-risk youth, and he just lets them know what's up. He lets them know what's going on and what to do and what not to do, just like what we saw him do last season and the season before. Really nice to see, and then he talks with his son. And I was touching because he was like, you know what? You're going to be the man of the house. You're going to have to show your brother and sister uh, what to do because they're going to look up to you. And he's like, they are? It's like, yeah. And I'm just like, damn, that's a lot of responsibility, especially they're in New York. For people who never lived in New York, especially growing up in New York as a kid, it is completely different experience than anywhere else in the world. And so you grow up quickly, so... And there's a lot of pressures and stuff. So anyway, that's tough. So then we move on and Amina talks with her twin. And oh my gosh, I can only deal with one of them crying. Because when one stopped crying, the other one started crying. When the other one started crying, the other one stopped crying. And then it was like they sound, I know they're twins. So of course, they're going to sound similar, if not exactly the same and look the same. But it's just like. No, this is, I can only do it one. I can only do it one. And her sister was like, no, you don't need him. You don't need him. Just like her other sister told her, but you know how it is. She's in love. She's in love. Not love. She's in love. I can't believe she and Pete are having another baby. Anyway, so then we have, uh, we have Mo talks to Rashida and Rashida essentially quits because Mo reveals to her that yeah I actually talked with Yandy about potentially getting new management and Ra was like that's the ultimate betrayal I don't care who it's from but it is ultimate betrayal and then the next thing that came out of her mouth I was like Ra just leave leave the show now she was like, please, the only slash last person that Yandy did anything for made hot was Jim Jones. And I'm thinking to myself, well, yeah, that's an amazing person to have as uh, on your resume. I'm like, what are you trying to say? What are you really trying to say? All right, exactly. Stop it. What have you done? What have you done as far as at that time? I'll wait. Anyway, so we move on from that foolishness to Yandisi's, Mandisi's, Yandisi's, that's their new name. Yandisi's goes to court, of course, together because it's court time and we'll hear the judgment, which we know will be eight years. Hmm. Could have been 20, so, or 22, so just think about that. And then... Mariah Lynn is at her birthday party and Rich is hosting and Mariah Lynn and Rich, they look like they could have something, but we know in the next episode that something clearly won't last, but Rich is actually trying to be a gentleman and responsible because his daughter is there. So he actually behaved for once he behaved. I don't know what's going on. The world is... I'm just like, Rich, behave? And then we have the moment we were all waiting for. Well, actually, before that, 
Mariah Lynn, someone needs to tell her how to do her confessionals because she was almost robotic in it. And I'm like, this is the most awkward, fake prof uh, confessional thing I've ever seen in my life. Poor thing. And then Cardi B steps on the scene because she got off of uh, work sooner than expected. And so DJ Self was caught off guard and... I did it again. And his uh, girl, Yonda, y whatever her name is, was like, who is this? And Cardi B was like, who is this? Who is this? And I was like, well, he ain't my, he ain't my box out. I'm like, oh. And she was like, he ain't your box out. I was like, oh, he did my, he's my box out. I'm like, what? I'm like, what is wrong with these women? And then Cardi B throws the first punch or slap or whatever that was supposed to be. And then the cameras pan out. That was the end of the episode. Next week is when we see the fallout from that, which will be great because we're going to see Cardi B kick out the window and do her infamous scene. If a girl has a problem with me, she's going to have a problem with me. Forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there you go. That's it. Please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you like uh, this format of the video being all in one or the other format of me splitting it up into about four parts? Uh, do you like uh, Love and Hip Hop This New York Season 6? So far, do you like, you know, Carly B? Are you tired of Amina and Tara? Well, I'm not tired of Amina yet because she turned up. So I'll give her another episode. Next episode, I'll probably be tired of her. Tara and Peter Guns can go. And um, who else can go? BBOD can go too because this just feels manufactured. And uh, Ra can go, which she might soon because we know she's going to have a fallout with Remy. And so, anyway, leave a comment below. What characters do you like? What characters do you don't like? How did you feel about this episode? How did you feel about my review? Please thumbs up it. Uh, and subscribe because I'll be doing this every week. And actually review a bunch of shows and talk about a lot of comments. So you never know what you might want to look at. And, um, yeah. Thanks.